Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to the vlog. It is a Saturday, and it's August the 6th, the day before I go live for my Happy Birthday to Me live video. So hopefully you all will show up for that as well. But by the time you see this one, that would have already come and gone. But I am here with my bestie. Come on over here. <laughs> Look at my friend. I came over and brought me a, I was gonna say a Christmas present, a birthday <laughs> present. <laughs> and I'll have to show it to y'all in a little bit, but I got a coffee mug with an elephant on it. And then I got something that is from her. Actually, let me go get that. Yay. So I got this very cute little elephant and Backstory on him, he actually belongs to her. He's in her collection of elephants. And for those of you who don't know, she stepped out of the camera. Get your butt back over here. <laughs> Terry collects elephants. And when I say collect elephants, Terry has like elephants, okay? She's got a big, small, in between. They're just beautiful. She has a large collection of them. And so we were having a conversation the other day one of those conversations that you don't like to have with your friends, but you know, like if I die, you know, this, this, and this. And I had said, this is one of the ones that I wanted, which I didn't want to get it anytime soon, obviously, because I didn't want her to pass away, but she gave him to me for my birthday. Oh my goodness. Like, so he's really special to me. And he's like a little, like a little keepsakes box. Like he comes apart. And he's so special. And I collect elephants, but not on the magnitude of Terry. <laughs> like I have a small, small collection. And what started me to collecting them is my son, when he was, I don't know, like a year old, maybe, he was fascinated with elephants and I'd taken him to the zoo in Okinawa. And he saw the elephant and he pulled his hand away from mine and he walked over to the elephant and he pointed and he goes, mom, look elephant <laughs> and so that was one of his first words like big words that he could say and even though he was saying it wrong he was giving it his best shot and so for years he said elephant instead of elephant and it just started me to collecting them because he would go through the house and count them and that was one of his ways of learning how to count was counting mommy's elephants very random story but that is what got me to collecting elephants and so I'm so happy to have him. And I got a cute mug, which what I'll do is I'll have my coffee tomorrow morning in my mug and we'll talk about my mug then. So yeah, so anyway, we're getting ready to head out to our famous lunch Yay. that we go to every year. We go twice a year, Once her a birthday, she, when she turns, or we won't say, we can say, cause I'm proud of her for being 70 years old. She turns 70 in February the 8th. So we're like six months, yeah. six months apart. August 8th. So we celebrate at the same restaurant every year for her birthday and my birthday. And we have a blast. We enjoy ourselves. It's just a very special time that we'll do forever, I think. I don't think we'll ever stop. Even if our coupon <laughs> thing stops working. Because no, I mean. we get a free meal on our birthday, which is what prompt us to do this. But I think we'll always do it no matter yeah. what. Because it's very special to us. So, anywho, we're going to head out that way. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>
Hello friends, happy Thursday, happy Friday Eve. I thought I would go ahead and pick up the camera and start off this vlog because I kind of wanted to document this day. I don't know why I feel so excited about this, but it's part of my journey and I like to document certain things. So today was my appointment with the UT Health Science Center Dental School. I guess, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the dental school. I had to go through a screening. I had to go through a lot of different little steps. They did a little quick exam. They did a quick little x-ray. And I was told that it looks like I would be a candidate for them to take me on as a patient. So that was good. I don't know anything else as of right now. There's, you know, I guess like a waiting period where they figure out everything and then they contact me and let me know all the skinny on it. So anywho, that was a big step. It was very interesting though. Um, I would not ever been into like a dental school environment. So it was quite unique to say the least. Huge building. Uh, there's different floors for different things, but the floor that the school was on was just, it was amazing. It was very clean. It was very sanitized. So everything was just totally very much on point. And as many people as they had in there, they were very organized and very like, kind of like on time. There was a line for the x-rays and basically they do a quick scan. And once they do that, they go back and wait. Then they come and get you. They take you to see the doctor. Like it, it was just so many little steps, but at the same time, very, very precise. So what do you think about this cute little dress that I have on? It is a Zara dress, but I got it at TJ Maxx the other day. I don't know if I shared this with you. I don't think I did, or did I? I don't even know. But anyway, basically I had some summer stuff I took back to TJ Maxx and I got a huge credit because I had some things that I had taken with me when I went to Myrtle Beach. And because I ended up with COVID, I didn't wear a lot of things. And so because of that, I was like, well, I might as well return this stuff because here we are in August and I need to start purchasing some things for the fall. So I returned, I think four or five items and I got some good money back. Uh, well, store credit because they were all past the 30 days. I never take the tags off of things and I always keep my receipt so that if I don't wear it, it's gonna go I back. I saw this cute little dress and I thought, you know what, I am going to get it. It's super comfortable. It's one that this winter I'll wear with tights probably. I know it's kind of thin, but you know how San Antonio is. It's, it doesn't really get cold. So I'm thinking I can wear this for quite a while. And if it starts cooling off, I can wear it with tights or I can throw on some boots with it, boots and tights. So I'm pretty excited. I'm looking out the window. I see people walking by. Whenever I'm in this window, I'm sorry. I always see people and it kind of freaks me out because I catch them out of the corner of my eye. But yeah, so the dress cost me $14.99 can't beat that with the sticks. Today, when I left the Health Science Center, I decided that I was on that side of town. And for one, I wanted to pick up me some Golden Walk. So I have some Golden Walk in there that I can't wait to start eating. Y'all, I'm so hungry. I have not actually eaten, to, eaten today. I had a sandwich this morning, uh, of Egg McMuffin sandwich from McDonald's this morning, and that's it. So I'm a little bit hungry. Like I said, I was on that side of town, and I thought, oh, you know, let me go into the home goods. My thought process was I was gonna look for some home type stuff. They had so much fall stuff in there that I kind of got like, I don't know, like, I don't wanna say, not that I was disappointed because I, I love looking at fall stuff, but there was just so much orange and brown and pumpkin and Halloween stuff that it overcrowded the stuff that I was hoping to find. So I kind of just got a little bit frustrated in that department. So the way I figure money is there are certain things that I will use budget wise for my house. And then there's certain money that I will use for budget wise for myself. And so that money was allocated from money for myself. And so I was like, well, you know, let me look at the clothes and see what I see. I couldn't resist these things that I saw. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show them to you all. The dress is more than I would have wanted to pay for a dress, but sometimes when you see something and you know that it's just your vibe, I'm really a bohemian girl, but and that's why like when I put something like this on, I feel very at peace, very happy. It brings me joy. It's free flowing. It's like my spirit. So I saw this dress and I was like, I like literally saw it from like four rows over in the store. And I was walking really fast to get to it because I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. And then I was looked at the price ticket. I went, 
ouch. <laughs> but I justified it because at the end of my last vlog, y'all saw that Debbie sent me a gift card to TJ Maxx. With that and with the money that I have left over from the credit that I got back, this is workable. <laughs> And it's a treat to myself. So anyway, so let me stop running my mouth because I am so hungry, y'all. But look at this dress. Is this not a Sheila dress? Okay, let me get it. Look at this. Isn't it so stinking cute? It's got the embroidery on the sleeves, very bohemian. It's free flowing like my free spirit. One of my favorite colors. Before I saw the dress, I want to share this with you all real quick. Before I saw the dress, I did go into the shoe section and I saw these boots. And I thought, I grabbed them because I thought, oh my God, those are so cute. They're a beige, a cream color, which is a boot that I really love to have. And I do have a pair of boots in my closet, two pair actually that are cream now that I got over the last couple of years. One pair I got last year and one pair I got the year before that. But this pair looks would look so cute with this dress. I had put the boots back. I looked at them, I thought, nah, I don't need them. I don't need another cream pair of boots. What was intriguing me about them is because these are a pair that you could just wear because they have a low enough heel. They are huggable because they're the sweater boots. Now, of course, looking at these, how am I gonna keep these clean? So I am gonna scarch guard them, but they were $29.99. See, what happened was, <laughs> I saw the dress, and then I had to go back and get the boots, because this will be a vibe. This will definitely be a vibe. The boot, it's got pockets, and y'all know I'm a sucker for things with pockets. I love to have pockets, which I was like, why didn't I have this when I went to do my darn live video when I was talking about PJs? Because I really love the PJ that James got me, and I really didn't get that to think about doing a live video for. I got it because I have always wanted the black and the long sleeve with the long pants for the winter. And so they had it there, they had it in my size. And he said, well, let's just get it because that's what you want. But I really wanted something else for my PJs and coffee time, but I just kind of ran out of time. I didn't have anything in there. Everything else was just stuff that I would not have wanted to have. So I was just like, well, you know what? These are new, I'll wear them. But when I saw this today, I, I would have loved to have had this for my live video. But yeah, so it is black, which they did have another one, but I don't know, I just, I like this because I felt like the black, let me fix it. I just felt like the black was just, I don't know, sexy or cuter or whatever, I don't know. But it's a little like tankini with a little like shorter short shorts. So this is, you know, something that I wouldn't really wear like all the time well i would wear it all the time because it's just me here at the house but this is something that if i wore it somewhere else i would make sure i had the little robe to go with it so and this three piece was only 19.99 i love the colors in it i thought it was really pretty and i love having these little robes to go on with things because when i have my hot flashes at night this is super comfortable to sleep in and I had seen these also, and I thought, you know, I like these a lot. And they felt really comfortable. The heel is at a good height. I have a few pair of shoes in there that I feel like I really need to go ahead and get rid of because they're kind, even though they're wedges, they're very, very high heeled wedges. And I don't know that they're comfortable for me to wear anymore, but I don't have the heart to get rid of them just yet because I feel like for those special occasions, I might want to have them. But I saw these and I was really excited. They look cute. Let me step back. I don't know how well y'all can see them in the camera. Probably not very well. What do y'all think? How do they look on my on my foot? I got this at TJ Maxx yesterday. It was $14.99. It has a little like sippy straw thing. And then it has a little holder that flips up and down. I really like the color of it. I thought this was perfect for me to have to keep my water in. And I've had water in this since this morning. It still has ice in it. So it says hold for 24 hours. When I went on the hike, I realized that I wanted something like this. My daughter-in-law and my son have the more expensive version of these. 
And when we were on the hike, I was like, wow, that is so handy. I had my big mug, you know, that I had to hold like with, you know, like with one hand, but you know, it's big. So I'm holding it like this. Whereas when you, this has a little handle, like if I was walking, I could have it down beside me like this when I take my walks. I'm not planning on going on another hike anytime soon, but it will definitely be great for me to have when I take my little Good walk. Good morning. Happy Monday. Gosh, what is today's date? It is the 15th, I believe. Yes, I think it's the 15th. I am getting ready for work, obviously. It is actually seven o'clock in the morning. I have not filmed this early like this in a long time, so I thought I would just kind of come on and say good morning and start my day off with you all. Yesterday, I did nothing. Well, I mean, I did a few things, but I didn't do very much. I just kind of rested and watched Hallmark movies literally like all day. Uh, I feel like I've just been doing so much, and I think I just felt like I needed just a complete down day. I would... I mopped my floors in the kitchen, the dining room, and in the living room, uh, cleaned those up really good. But that is probably the only thing that I did that was of any kind of substance. I did fold up a load of laundry, I guess. So I guess that was two things. Okay, I can't get this earring in. But I wanted to show you all my robe. I'm wearing my very first Barefoot Dreams robe. I've wanted one of these for a long time. I got it in black. I got the size one. So here's my dilemma. I know I like things really big and I like things that are going to just kind of hover over me, especially like robes, because I feel like you want to feel like you're wrapped up in a blanket. And that's why I wear James's robe most of the time. Like when you all see me, I usually put on like my cute little robe from Amazon or I will wear my animal print robe quite a bit when I was doing a lot of my get ready with me's and my makeups and things like that. I would always have that one on because that one was very easy to use um, to put my makeup on because of the sleeves and stuff. But if I'm just like in my house on a day to day day, on a day to day day, on a day to day morning, I guess, or day, I guess, evening, night, whatever, I pretty much will put on James's robe because I can literally wrap up in that robe. So I was torn between getting a size one or size two. This is the size one. The size two was sold out and was waiting to come back in stock. So I thought, oh, do I, you know, and I was reading reviews and reviews were saying some are, some were saying it's too big. Some were saying it's a perfect fit. So I ended up with the size one. This is where the sleeves are. I don't know if you all can see. Like I have long arms, so I feel like, I don't know. Let me see, let me, I'm gonna lower the camera. Can you see my arms? No, okay, let's move the camera into the, how about that? Yeah, so that's where the sleeves are. So, I mean, they definitely come down far enough. Like that's, it covers not quite half of my hand just on its own. And the pockets pretty much overlap almost by closing it. So if I were to cinch the waist in completely, tie it. Okay. <laughs> the belt is like super long because these robes are, are his or her robes. So that's kind of why I thought like the one would be, should be pretty big. But as you can see, when it's closed, the pockets are literally right here in front of me. Like they're right here. So I feel like if I went up a size to, to a size two, that would probably like be just like the, the pockets where I wouldn't even be able to like sometimes stick my hands in my pocket because they would literally be on top of each other like that. So I'm thinking I'm okay with the size, but I still feel like I want it to be bigger. <laughs> Am I crazy? But, and this is where it comes down on the floor. Let's see if I can, can I? So it, I mean, I it is, pretty long to the floor. Can you all see that? Let me trying to figure out. I need to hurry up y'all. I gotta go to work this morning. I gotta be there at eight. Okay, so that's where it comes at on the floor. I think I'm gonna be okay. I think because I can literally pull my hands inside if I'm cold sitting out on the patio this fall and winter. So I think I'm okay. What are y'all gonna go ahead and finish getting ready? trying to decide today it's raining outside y'all it hasn't rained here 
we got rain this entire weekend, like on and off. Like every day, Saturday it didn't. Actually, I think it did maybe a sprinkle a little bit, but it rained all night last night. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad because we needed the rain. But then I'm like, oh, my poor patio. It means I'm going to have to go out there and, you know, clean her up. But that's okay. We needed the rain. I'm not complaining, Lord. I'm so thankful for the rain. So, yeah. So, anyway, let me show y'all. I haven't showed y'all that. See, right over there, that is a flower. You know, we met with our awesome threesome this weekend. And, uh, yeah, so love my flowers. Those came from Ken. I put those in that little base there and set them up on my shelf. I have some other ones. Yvette gave me flowers as well. So I got two sets of flowers. Just, I love flowers. I don't really buy flowers because I feel like this sounds really bad. Because for me, spending my money on flowers, they die. And I think I have nothing to show for it afterwards. But when people give me flowers, I love them. So I don't know. It's a weird thing of mine. I just, I'm really weird about money and buying things that will be there tomorrow meaning any tomorrow like you know what I mean by the way I've been taking this bad boy with me to bed at night because I have been really loving cold water more so than room temperature water I went through a phase where I was always drinking room temperature water and now I'm finding myself drinking cold water with ice in it just you know loads of ice and very very cold so I've been taking this to bed with me I actually really really like this so much so that I'm thinking about maybe getting a second one just so that I can have a second one. It was kind of weird. Like, I feel like YouTube has done that to me. It makes me feel like I always have to have a backup of something. Why is that? I don't know. But I do. I feel like I need another one just to have. Or, like, maybe if I wanted water and iced tea in one or something. I don't know. Why do I feel like I need a backup? Do I need a backup? Is that just being too extra? I don't know. But I love it. Mm.